Welcome back everyone. Well today it's another wet, soggy, miserable day, but the beekeeping has to go on, so I need to get two mating nukes set up with bees in them for a couple of extra virgin queens that we have from our last round of uh, grafting. I uh, sold all the rest, but I've got two more. They just need to get in into a colony. So I'm unfortunately I'm by myself. I don't have my my handy camera people with me today. So this could be a little bit tricky. We'll see how it turns out. But I'm gonna go get into that triple stack right there and grab some bees out of it. And if if I don't get enough for both out of that one. We're not going to go on that one. That one's my Henri one. I'm going to requeen that one later this week. Probably pull some out of that box. That set right there. So bear with me. Stick around and we'll see if we can do this one-handed today. All right. Well, the biggest thing when uh, getting bees out of a, a colony for a nuke, you want to make sure you know where your queen is. And she is right there. So that's going to make it much easier for us. We're going to stick her back in this box here. Let's see here. Yeah, she's right, right there. We're going to just quickly put her right back in there and pull this box off and set it aside all right so now we're going to go down in here sit and be content while we find us a couple frames of bees. Preferably nurse bees. That looks like a good frame. We've got a lot of Larva and cat brood. So we'll just stick these right down in here and we're just taking the bees, we're not taking the the brood. Hopefully this is okay for you guys. I apologize that I'm having to do this one-handed. Another one that looks really good. I'm gonna give each one of these a couple of frames of bees. Not the frames, but the bees on the frames. I'm going to quickly shut that up on that one. You can see there's a fair amount of bees down inside there. Put that on there for now. This queen is going to town. There's a beautiful frame of brood. A lot, of, a lot of cap and some larva, and that's perfect what we want. Mm -hmm. 
One more and we should have it. That one's not a brood frame, so we're not going to use it. And it is raining, by the way. It's sprinkling here, so these bees are being very good con considering the circumstances. Bearding up a little bit here, we'll throw them back in. Well, I think we're going to go back in this top box. Which I don't usually like to do with the queen in there. Because you'd be amazed at how quickly she can jump frames. set this frame aside because it's the one I think I'll use and we're gonna see if we can find that queen one more time make sure that she is where we left her and then we'll shake that box or that frame in Not easy one-handed. She's just barely starting to relay this one. She's, the whole rim out here has been hatching. Everything in the center did and she's filling it back up. All right, I'm gonna find that queen real quick and I'll be back. That way I can just use two hands. Bear with me. There she is, right there. So, we're gonna go ahead and shake that frame right down there. In, and call it good. a fair amount of bees and won't hardly even make a dent in what's in this in fact it'll just relieve some of the pressure that was in this colony back in a bit thanks all right well considering it was raining this whole time not heavy but sprinkling pretty good I only got stung twice and both times it was my own fault you can see there's a fair amount of bees in there. We'll install a virgin in there later today. Oh, got to put our frame back in. Don't want to forget that. Shut them up. And we're going to take them to a new location. There we go. Two more mating nukes ready for virgins. Okay, we're loaded up. These little mini nukes are, they're the best. I just love them. But this little cleat that I put down here, or brace, I'm not sure what to call it. Probably a brace that links these two together. They they ride so good. They, they don't try to tip over. You don't have to keep your hands on them the whole time you're driving. Obviously, you need to be kind of careful driving, but... Um, 
they work amazing love them we're gonna get these set up at uh, probably my backyard and get some queens installed later this afternoon stick around All right, we made it home. Go put these gals in their spot. Okay, here's their new temporary home. I'm gonna leave them alone for a little bit here. Come back later this afternoon and uh, we'll throw some Powerade bottles on top and a uh, pollen patty for each. Uh, give them a bubble wrap and a brand new Virgin Queen. Talk to you again real soon. Thanks for watching Just Because. I thought I'd just show you the two queens that we're gonna be installing in a little while. These are really pretty black. Now. Hopefully you can see that okay. Back in our cage. See if this one will not be camera shy and come right out for us. Also, a really pretty black one. Well, that's probably close enough. So we'll probably be st installing these in about no oh, three or four hours, right around there. Talk to you again real soon. Okay, it's been about oh close to six hours now. Uh, the sun's actually trying to poke out now, which is kind of nice. We're going to try to be really quick here. We're going to install these two queens, shut them back up, and and leave them. Then I'll come out later this evening and open up their entrances and uh, then tomorrow afternoon about this same time it's, it's about 3 30 ish or so uh, we'll come back out and release we'll direct release the two virgins so uh, let's get going well they know they're queenless we just want to be quick about it Give him a call and patty. Little teeny one. And it's fine if some of these get out, they'll work their way back to one or the other. The nice thing about this little lip is that you don't end up crushing bees. It's not very easily. All right. Get our next one ready. Lids. 
it down here. Just gonna set these back on here for a minute to get some feeders on it. All right, that's all there is to this. We'll be back tomorrow to release them. I don't know, I may not do a video of releasing them. We'll just see, but if, if I have time to do it tomorrow and get it on camera, I'll do that and give it up for you people. Thanks for watching Just Because. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget the bell notification icon so you won't miss anything. Um, have a great day. Talk to you again soon.